All right, guys, we got a 2019 Accord. 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22 is all the same. We got electrical brake in the back. I got a video on that. So in this video, we're going to replace the water. The brakes will look good, but the customer has a complaint. He doesn't like the brake. We're going to change them anyway. They're rusted. Still had a meat on the uh, pads. Anyways, easy process. We're going to remove uh, these the two little caps. I'm back of this caliper. There's one here. And there's one in the bottom. Right here. Two of these come off. And after that, we're going to use uh, this Allen. This is uh, size 7. And uh, we're going to remove this retainer here. This is a very important retainer. And uh, we talked about this in the back. It's like a spring loader. It keeps the vibration and uh, this caliper from moving. And uh, we're going to see before and after on that. Anyways, let's take this baby out. Okay, to take this baby out, be careful. This doesn't fly out. hit you in the eye. So what I usually do is put my hand on it. And just pop this baby off just like that. So it doesn't fly and hit you in the eye, especially if you got your buddy standing next to you. That's why he's doing this to you. <laughs> All right, so this is out. And you could go behind this and just yank it a bit. Okay. It just, it just works like a spring. That's all it is. And it keeps this caliper nice and tight in there. It doesn't let it move and vibrate just like that. <laughs> We're going to put a new one on. Anyways, once that baby's out, we're going to remove the two Allen keys from the back that I showed you, back of this caliper. One thing you don't want to do on these Hondas is, a lot of people will tell you, even me, some of the videos, all the cars you can do, you don't want to grab this and turn it. You're going to have lights on in the dashboard, and that's going to be crazy for you. Um, anyways, let's take off the two screws in the back. So very tough spot for me to get to the camera, but we should be able to see. So there's two Allens. Okay, let me get this. Off, going the wrong way, kind of clockwise if you're looking directly from that side. So pretty much, we're going to take this out and this one on the top here that I showed you, the two caps that we took off. So this guy comes off. And this baby is out. So once both of these pins are nice and loose and out, you gotta get them out all the way, okay? All the threads you can. And once you get that out, your caliper. Okay, this one's still in there, a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more. And the slider pin is out. I'm come back out with the camera right here. And. Oh, there goes my light. Falls every time. Okay, there it is. So what you want to do is you want to grab your caliper and just lift it up and put it on the top here. So our caliper is just sitting right there, just like that. And what we're going to do next is we're going to remove the two bolts in back of this bracket here. So there's two bolts in the back. Turn the camera down. So I just want to show you gently what those two bolts are. So there's two bolts on this bracket, and uh, they're 17 millimeters. And what we're gonna do is, hopefully you guys can see it from right here. Not see the bolts, but what I'm doing, so pretty much kind of clockwise, same thing. One. And let me loosen up the second one. There you go. Once they're loose, you should be able to turn it by hand. This bracket should start to move. And this baby should come off easily and fairly, just like that. Bracket is out. And there's the two bolts. Anyways, we're going to take out the rotor, okay? The rotor has a small little screw. The rotor has a small little screw right here. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. It's not going to come out that easy. So what you want to do is you want to turn this to exactly opposite side. We're going to get a hammer. And what you want to do is you want to make sure your caliper doesn't fall. You tap on that a few times. It's going to break the grip loose on this guy. And you should be able to. 
just turn this little screw very easily and this baby just comes out just like that so if you're already banged in the water it should be very easy look at all that rust that's coming out and this guy comes out look at all that corrosion and rust back there so after 80 90,000 miles just look to change your caliper I'm sorry your rotors brakes and rotors complete and uh we're gonna clean this baby off gonna do here is we're gonna clean this baby off really good make sure there's no dust corrosion and just file it down and if it looks really bad use a buffer what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some uh, parts cleaner on this and we're gonna let it dry off sometimes dust particle of dust will get back there so make sure there's nothing back there so what we're gonna do next is let's look at our caliper we're gonna compress that caliper we're gonna put our light up here look at how nice that looks Anyways, this pad here is jammed. It's like a double-sided tape. Okay, there you go. And that will stay behind because this is like a glue. That's how the original pads are. The aftermarkers won't be like that. That baby come out, and this baby comes out. So notice where this brake wear indicator is, okay? So we're gonna put it back on the same spot. So the next step here is very simple. We're gonna compress this. And we're gonna move on with uh, putting on pads. Okay, so we're gonna take all the brake pad. Even before you remove the old brake pad, you can just take your clamp here. You could use a C clamp or a compression such as this. And you're gonna compress in that piston. Okay, that piston should go in nice and smooth and easy. It should not be rough. If you had to fight it, that means it's a bad caliper or something is seized up. Anyway, this baby is compressed. Throw out the old brake pad. We're gonna get pads and rotors next. All right, so we got ourselves an electric quarter rotor here. This is good stuff. Here's the brand if you guys wanna pick this up. We're gonna get to the phone later. Here's the part number on this baby. So we're gonna clean this off really well. And use a clean rag. Wipe it off. Same thing on the opposite side. You are going to see smoke and you're going to smell this guy within first uh, few uh, miles. And uh, you do need to drive gently. Anyways, we'll talk about that on another video. This is nice and clean. We're going to take this onto the vehicle. Okay, next step, we're going to put a little bit of greasing on these babies. So you always want to put a little bit of anti seize or any type of grease will do. A lot of people I have done videos on oil, a little bit of uh, engine motor oil works here well. Not too much so it doesn't drip around. So that's it, that's that in there. So we're gonna take our uh, rotor here. So you do need to line the rotor with the screw that we took off. And uh, so make sure you get the oval spot, to the perfect spot with the electric quarter rotors. It's always kind of a little hassle to get this rotor in. So just play around with it and it will go in. A little bit tap here, a little bit tap there. Okay, so we're gonna come back once I have this baby in. Okay, once you get that rotor in there, what you wanna do next is, you wanna take that screw and put this baby on, okay? So once you tighten your wheel, this rotor is gonna go flush and the screw doesn't have to be crazy tight. All it does is holds the rotor in place for you. So next step here is we're gonna take our bracket. So you do need to clean the bracket. So file the bracket a bit here. Not file, wire brush it, wire brush it here. So I'm gonna do that off the camera a little bit. And that, we're gonna take a brake cleaner. I'm gonna spray this off a bit. Same thing here. So this is nice and clean. That's gonna dry off as we speak and put this bracket on. So the two bolts, Go into this bracket. One is here. And the other one on the top. So I'm gonna lock both of these bolts up. I'm gonna tighten these really well. Then we'll install the brake pads. And we'll talk about that little retainer on the brake pad, on the caliper. So now, make sure you tighten these babies really well. You cannot leave nothing loose. Okay. 
nice and tight. Same thing with the other bolt. Okay, can't get it. We're gonna go. There you go. So nice and tight. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Happy with that. Okay, so we're gonna put the brake pads on. I did do the other side. So here's the Evolution brake pads. Good stuff. I love using this. It's a part number for the front for this particular vehicle. So it comes with brake pads. And it comes with this little retainer here. New, you got a new uh, hardware there. And what we're going to do is. We're going to get this out of the box. So let's talk a little bit about these brake pads. So these brake pads. You got these clips in here. So this is going to go straight into your brake pad caliper this guy just sits there and you do want to pay attention to this brake wear indicator sensor so that one is on the top so that's fine so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this pad in so all you have to do is you have to take this other guy it's got to be the correct way okay and squeeze it in it should snap in just like that okay and what I want to do here is, I want it to put a little bit of greasing onto these brake pad right on the edge here where the brake pad is going to meet that bracket. Same thing here. Do the same thing for the other pad. Let me put this baby on. Usually in the front, I don't like to put greasing on the outer edge of the pad. Because of brake dust and same thing here, a little bit of grease here, a little bit of grease right there. It's perfect. So once you get that in, this pad will not fall out. What you want to do is you want to take this caliper, put this baby on. You had to push the slider pins back out and then we're going to catch the threads on those. So this job is pretty much done. So I'm gonna try to get this in. So you want to catch the threads. So sometimes you gotta move this caliper around just to catch the threads. And there you go. I got one. Perfect. Do the same thing for the bottom. And once you catch the thread, you should be able to tighten both of these. So what I'm gonna do is, let me just show you everything here. So you got this bolt here, that bolt there. So you just need to tighten this. Okay, my ratchet is going the wrong way. Oops, there you go, that had my hand. So we're gonna lock this baby up, nice and tight. Same thing for the top one there. Make sure your brake line is nice and straight. So this is tight. And this is gonna be tight. There you go. Perfect. Let's get our tool out. And don't not forget to put the two little caps. One and two. All we gotta do is put the retainer in, but if you don't put the retainer in, this baby's gonna shake, vibrate, all kinds of stuff. It's gonna let the pad move in and out. So that is a function of that little retainer. Okay, next, you're gonna put this baby in. There's a little trick to it, so a lot of people then we'll try to go this way. What I like to do is I get one of the edges in, get the other one in, and then just work your way up. Oh, sometimes it does that. So make sure you have some safety glasses. And not hurt yourself. This is a strong one. Two, that's two. Sometimes you can get it in just like that. We're gonna do it that way and it's 
took a little groove in there, so it should sit in there, but it's only going to sit in there once. This guy is where it belongs. Okay. All right. Not liking this guy. Okay, there you go. That's one. It's going to try to come out from there, but once we get this guy in, Everything should lock up. Just make sure it doesn't hit you in the eyes. That's the only thing. That's the only fear. Okay, let me try it with the hand. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Everything just sits in place. Tap, tap. Whoo! Make sure you pump your brake pedal. If you're doing the back, make sure you do the relearn on the caliper. Just put the brake on and off, on and off a few times. The E parking brake. The electric parking brake, and there you go. You guys, brand new. Uh, you got brand new pads and waters on this 2019 Accord. Same process for 18 to, uh, through 2021. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.